Hi, I'm Donna Jacunas. In this video, I'm going to show you another part of this Parts Unknown Viking Cow. It starts out with seven of these cables going all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three on the front, four on the back. Doesn't really matter. The seven doesn't split in half. But anyway, You'll see that in the top section, I only continued a couple of the cables up, three actually. So out of the seven, three repeat a second time, and the other ones turn into ribbing. So on this side, there's a cable in the center and ribbing on both sides. And when I flip this over to the other side, what happened is these two next to each other, these two cables next to each other became ribbing, so it becomes a big solid part of ribbing between two cables. I like this, it's softer to be in the front, um, in front of your neck, and this part looks really cool going up the back of your head. So what we're going to look at in this video is how to close off these cables and end them so that they disappear, and then you have this plain section of all pearls that's left and if you um, need to you can change it to ribbing for the different parts but we're going to look at how to decrease so that this disappears okay so this is the chart for that and you'll see two spots where we decrease down here and up here because in the cable we are getting rid of stitches here and then we get rid of more stitches there. So we do the decrease, same kind of decrease in both places. And what happens is this decrease starts with four knits. And we're going to decrease away two on uh, the first decrease round and then the next two on the second decrease round so that all four of those knits are gone. Okay, so look back on the chart, you can see there's two decreases here. Then on the very next round, there's two decreases. On the first decrease round, we're using knit-wise knit decreases. So we've got a, a SSK and a knit two together. And then on the second decrease round, because we're ending up with all pearls, we do pearl decreases, because they're more invisible then to make that disappear. And we've got a pearl two together through the back loop and a pearl two together. And you could do an SSP, um, but there's no real benefit to the slipping so I just made it a pearl two together through the back loop for this because that leaves out a step that doesn't make much difference in the final result on this particular instance. Okay so now I'm going to show you how to do those. So this is not the exact same cable but it's one that starts out of nothing like this did in the cowl and then I'm back down to having four knits between a bunch of pearls and I'm going to decrease these knits away. Okay, so I'm going to take my piece here and we'll see that we've got SSK and then knit two together. So I work up to the, I work up to the four knits and then I just do S, S, K, and then knit two together. And then I continue with the pearls that are there. Can you see what that looks like? There's only two knits left. Let me show you that again, just with a little more detail of the S, S, K. All right. To the second one where I have the same cable I want to get rid of. So SSK is slip one knit wise, slip one knit wise. Then you put the left needle into the front and you're essentially knitting those stitches together through the back loop. The reason you do the slipping knit wise is so that the finished decrease isn't a twisted stitch because normally when you knit through the back, you get a twisted stitch. So this SS is the part where you turn the stitches around so they don't get twisted. And then we've just got the knit two together. Okay, I'm gonna finish this round and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how to do the pearl decreases so that this cable is completely gone. <laughs> 